All right, people. Welcome back to some more Dando commentary. So we got Breaker M F C here with twelve twenty five and Nept eight three nine three with ten forty eight. It's a lot, just too many numbers. Anyway, you didn't mess much. He activated pot. He revealed a banisher, a lance, and an MST. He grabbed the lance. Now and then he summoned um, another banish, a different banisher from his hand. Set three back row. Uh, pot, space, time, trap, pole, got the sun warning. There you go, you're caught up, and you just saw him. I guess just... an anti meta deck. Yeah, I guess so. He's just going straight up, like, fuck you. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> and burning of this. Yep. How are you gonna deal with that guy right there? <laughs> no, it's nice to at this point, why? Because of the number generator. <laughs> Because he had nothing to get over it. And Cloud see uh, he doesn't have any monsters, just a whole bunch of background. There's another one. <laughs> Not a bad shot at all. He said, fuck you, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh, no, oh I guess it's a ritual version of burning this. Right. Interesting. And the Malakota and everything. <laughs> I will be testing that as well online at least. Don't make that deck even. Sh I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> yeah, same here. All the broken bullshit going on. Mm-hmm. Are you shitting me? One of the freaking uh, Nefcloth's most powerful cards is now in the hands of Burning Abyss. Like, alright, alright. <laughs> well, so yeah. It's that Burning Abyss can pull it off better. And easier. Most the players are even running Smashing Crown to get over that uh, chin lock. Damn. <laughs> I mean, we do have, like, you know, two Dark Holes and a Regeki, but, you know. Ain't GG at least, yeah. Yeah, but in, uh, you know, no clubs. Don't they run, don't, they don't run much back row, do they? They don't, they no, they don't really run any back row. Exactly, well, please. Maybe only roll the Decree or Vine Emptiness. Yeah, well, please. You, know, you better hope that you have that freaking uh, Royal Decree, because if not. You know, Cleese can pull it off, you know, just as well. Wow. This guy is just saying, fuck you. <laughs> just back row. Yep, yep, this guy's doing straight ass anti meta. Yep. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Yeah, yeah, I am. You know what you're seeing? <laughs> you're seeing some number generator bullshit. <laughs> God. Yeah. That's possible. God. Damn. You know what? I didn't want to play in Yu Gi Oh anyway. <laughs> Diamond Dire? Or I wished well there. Or that that would be kind of pointless. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Maybe something else oh. about this card. I haven't seen... seen that card used for a while. Yeah. He just beat the shit out of pretty bits by just being a complete cunt. Anti meta, like damn. It's like you don't get to play Yu Gi Oh today. <laughs> when it's pretty much uh, the current game, either you have to stop your opponent completely or you get uh, screwed over the war part decks. Yu Gi Oh shouldn't be like that. <laughs> it makes me sad that Yu Gi Oh is so just ugh. Like, what happened? This isn't the game that we fell in love with during our childhood. <laughs> well, <it's... laughs> Yugi is when rolling I started, in his started grave. To play when I was already, already a teenager, so. Well, it's still not the same game. <laughs> Libic. Oh, you actually play Libic, huh? Yeah, Libic is not bad. It's just not necessary. I would run at least one. Hmm, that wasn't good enough. Wait, Burning Abyss are starting to play on me controller too? Yeah, some play, I think. Damn! That was a Shadal aggressiveness thing. You're more of a control deck, but alright. And Burning Abyss can be really aggressive as well. Get uh, your two tons to the field and yeah, all that. Mm -hmm. With freaking enemy controller and Farfa and all that good shit. Alright. Oh, you actually read MST? 
I thought you were, your deck was just so full of hate that there was no room. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. You must see that must see. Now what? Wow. Oh, Grandmold, that's very nice against that, don't they? Ah, damn. Getting number generated. <laughs> yep, that's that's beautiful against Burning Abyss. And an ass of back row. Enjoy. Sorry, guys. It's all okay. right. It's all morning. Told you. <laughs> yeah, of course. I fucking told you. <laughs> oh, there's Foolish. Come what the fuck? I'm tired of this number generating bullshit. We well, can't like... yeah, avoid it with uh, simulators. Shit. Bro, well, like, oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's more pro to duel on DN. The duels are better. Like, no, I'm not. They're more number generated. Even when I watch fucking Mega Capital G's videos. Kagna. Oh, alright. You know, even when I watch Mega Capital G's videos and I'm sitting there watching him duel his videos, I'm just like. He gets a number generated card like Regeki, Vanity, Z I mean Greki, Snatch Steel. You know that's a that's one of the scary things about if Vanity ever gets hit and goes to one. We'll probably see that fucker all the time. Yeah, that's possible, lol. <laughs> of course, I think that it does put the graveyard. <sighs> Can you go ahead and send that good evil in the burning abyss? That was smart. That was smart. That was smart to go ahead and put down at Magician because if he goes Grandma, oh, there's TK. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of freaking, uh, a lot of cards at one and decks not even below 30 yet. But that was smart with the down at Magician because if he goes Grandma, then it will attach to Dante. Yeah, of course. So. He learned his lesson. He was like, oh, alright. You got that grandma? Fine. What did he grab? I didn't see. Hmm. -mm. Not sure. Person? I think it was Deep Prison. Just okay. past the turn. Yeah, okay. Oh! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh, that top deck, though. <laughs> Go ahead. Head up with background. Hit him. Damn, Venus Chain too. Alright. Well, that good and evil is gonna sit there for a while until he gets a Burning Abyss card in his hand. Finish shot. Well, that definitely helps. Yeah. That Tiger like, is gone now. Yeah. The only thing that would help is Snatch Deal or something. No, oh, lol. <laughs> no. Okay, alright. How many is that? How many is that? The deck's no, the deck is at thirty. That's ten cards. How many is that? At least five. At least four or five. Ridiculous. <laughs> you got macro down there too? Maybe a little bit of bottomless? I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this I I'm flabbergasted about how number generized this fucking shit is. Like can you not is there no possible way to fix this? Maybe they just run a lot of one-offs, so... Shit. It's supposed to be at one for a reason. It's supposed to lower the consistency of getting the shit, not fucking get it constantly because it's at one. Huh? The worst fucking culprit. I shouldn't even fucking... I shouldn't even do fucking vitamin Y on here. You know, it doesn't matter. It does the same thing on Depro. Just not as bad. It seems like... Dean is a lot worse than Death Crow. Yeah, probably. This duel is disgusting. And it's pretty boring. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, well, that's what you get when we sit here and watch this little fucking anti meta shit. <laughs> so it gets really boring really fast. Well, please, something. I mean, this, this is one of the reasons I don't like anti-meta, because it's boring. I don't like the anti-meta, I don't like that whole trap, that tribute stun, I don't like none of it. It's all just disgusting. 
You're not even dueling anymore. <laughs> you just stun so hard, you know? I'd rather duel against Burning Abyss and, you know, watch them do their plates and just sit here and watch you just stun the shit out of your opponent. Boring. Just draw, pass, draw, pass, draw, pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing is really happening. What are you trying to do? Deck him out? <laughs> oh, MST, of course. Phoenix chain. Oh, no, he wants that. Alright. I thought he was gonna pop the Phoenix chain. Then I'm getting it in, but nope. He wants that card right there, then Vanities will go too. Didn't he sign in like Twister and shit? Yep. We'll see more of that. I didn't miss him. Yep. And Vanity stays. Ha. Uh, it's one of the dumbest combos in Yu Gi Oh! Vanities plus something that banishes. Yep, then Vanities is staying on the field. Yep. Well, the Burning Whisper at this point is pretty much good. Yep. Interesting the Undo commentary is that Upper Tier Dex losing to. Stuff like this, but you know, there, there's not much to say about this. This is just blatant. Yeah, you have to, uh, yeah, get uh, multiple outs uh, yeah. to get over that field. Yeah, this guy woke up and he was just like, Oh, it's time to get on the D and be the super douche. Someone's got to be the bad guy. <laughs> Apparently, when well, against him. top decks, you pretty much have no other choice but either play those top decks or be a complete douchebag. And try to shut them down. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing he went against Burning Abyss. Kind of felt like Cleese would probably beat the crap out of this guy, but. Yeah, possible. Because, <laughs> you know, what can I feel right now? There's not much that can really stop Cleese. So, you got anything else? Defender and two banishers? Just like, god damn. Make you wish you... This emptiness. Yeah, make you wish you ran Dark Hole. And two back rows. There is no way playing a best player is going to get over it. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. Looks like he's gonna pull off the same strategy he had last duel. To set something with a big old booty install. I give that to Burning this monster. Some of them got some big booties, you know. A yep, far Skarm far, has two dozen defense. Farfa, Skarm, Rubric, they all have big booties, so. Oh, here was one ponder with as well. Well, uh, what just happened? Oh, uh, breaker destroy the the yeah. destroy the breaker the vanity emptiness, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, and get a Photon Papper Operative, flip it up, and then that's the game again. He's gonna end yeah. you with Photon Papper Operative again? Yep. Damn! <laughs> How the fuck is Photon Papper Operative kicking the shit out of you? Hello? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we'll get one more quick one in. Be right back. Alright, people. We're back. So, we got yep. Ranger Boy with Dark Magician Girls in this picture. <laughs> Alright, 894 using uh, Light Storm. No, this is Ultimaya. No. It seems like Ultimaya. Not sure what that is like. Light Ride Storm and Car Ultim Trooper in Heretics, okay. Heretics. Not okay. sure why. Malicious. Maybe like, maybe it's Ultimaya? <laughs> but I thought you can only play TCG on here. You can play OCG on TCG as well. Oh, okay. In the right, you just have to click the right option. Oh, okay. 
Oh, no. It's time for him to go for a Beals. Oh, let me guide. Daddy L L Larkas? I'm gonna call him Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ten fifty four. But damn, look at that experience though. He's earned that fucking Master Dragon Knight pitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he just drew a card and didn't do anything, so You got a gores or something? You didn't set anything? You didn't play anything? You just Bill's time? Uh, Gores has be becoming more popular these days. Bills? We're talking about Bills, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you going to do? Go into a Leo? Yeah, that's possible. This seems very unusual, tech. Yeah. Yeah, let's look at Leo. Unless there's another ten scene grab that I'm not really fond of. Alright, yep, yeah, Leo. Yeah, that's a lot of life point damage. Ah, damn, this guy's not done. He's not done. He's going not BLS as well. BLS that as was well. Insane lol. God damn. Yep. Damn. <laughs> Get the shit <laughs> beat out of you. Fuck you! Get <laughs> off! God damn! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, they got sacked really hard. Oh, super hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Disgusting. <laughs> Ain't it? Wow. That's it. That, that, I'm gonna know that. God damn. <laughs> I said I wanted to get one, another one in real quick, and it was real fucking quick. <laughs> Yeah, ain't it? Just killed in one turn. <laughs> you got OTK. Goddamn. <laughs> Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of the Endo Commentary. So thanks, Mega Cash, for joining me. No problem. And we will see you guys next weekend. Well, I'll see you guys next weekend. Well, with someone else. With some more Endo Commentary. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching.